the veteran Nick Folk about ready to get this show started. And off we go from South Florida. This is fielded inside the five. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin then. The Miami offense will make their way onto the field. Leading this offense, their veteran quarterback. When you really dive deep and study some of the best quarterbacks, not only in today's game at the moment, Mike, in the NFL, but really throughout history of the league, the best quarterbacks, they hold themselves to a standard that nobody else in the organization could ever hold them to. Anything their coach asks of them, they want to be even better than that. And that's really what makes them special. So we had a chance to talk to him this week. He says, I have to be better. I need to put my team in more positive situations. That's the type of leadership that everybody goes out and tries to seek and bring into their organization at the quarterback position. Now he just needs everyone else around him to try to keep pace. Second down and eight. And movement up front. And that's our first time tonight to check in with our referee. Now a run and maybe a reverse here, but no, he keeps it himself. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. With how fast they were all over that play, you almost wonder, Mike, was there a pre-snap tell? Did they know that play was coming? Because I'll tell you, that defense was on it from the start. Third and long. Back to throw. Huntley. And this drive is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down. Sometimes, Mike, your greatest strength can also be a little bit of your weakness. In this case, he is so used to being able to buy more time with his feet, extend the play, give his targets more time downfield to uncover. In this case, nothing materializes, tried to do too much, and as a result, takes a big loss. Punt team comes out. Dolphins going to kick it away. As he'll take this a yard or two into his own end zone. This kick hangs up, and a fair catch will be taken beyond the 35-yard line. Titans coming out with their quarterback, Will Levis. Good performance last year. Take it early in that second round in the 2023 draft. Greg, this quarterback out of Kentucky could be the future for Tennessee. Every team stresses it all week in practice, Mike, as they're building their scripts and they're delivering their team message. You want to start fast in the NFL. Playing from behind is a nightmare. You can't come out flat and allow the opposing team to strike first. They understand the importance. This opening drive, they feel really good about the plays they have tabled. They really feel good about the week of practice they had. Now all that has to come together, start fast, and then see if you can sustain it for four quarters. They go play action with Levis. Open man downfield, it is Hopkins. And he's going to take this into the end zone. Sensational play for the moment. There's a marker down. I don't think he's going to like the result of this flag. Oh, as costly as they come. The holding call wipes away what would have been a long touchdown. Throwing on second down, Levis. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. 
You can hear some boo birds coming out with some angry fans here right behind us, Mike, and rightfully so. They went from second and long, which is obviously not ideal, to now third and nearly impossible. I mean, it's looked about as bad as you can imagine. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Here's Levis to throw. Looking middle, and he's got Ridley. So a good chunk of yardage there, but still well short of the first down. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carry had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. The home team's offense ready to see the football for the second time. We've seen a couple of punts so far to start this game out, so they'll try it again in this scoreless game with first and ten. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. They'll run this one straight ahead with a chance. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. Now here's a keeper on the zone read. And maybe the quarterback should have given that one away. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. A lot of defense's strategy of defending the zone read, Mike, is we want that quarterback to pull the ball. It's one of their few chances throughout the course of the game where they can get their hits on them. And in this case, they're able to hold them to no gain. Hill brought in motion. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. This throw right side is caught by Hill. And he's very close to a first down, but it doesn't look like he got there. And yes, they're going to mark him a yard short. When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells me, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. And he's going to be brought down after a short return, and that's where his team will get possession of the football. The Titans' offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. He'll start this drive by keeping it himself. And he'll get about three on that one. It'll be second down. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. Second and seven. First carry for the man from Memphis, Tony Pollard. And he will not be able to get free, picking up only a yard. Now, it's third down. Here's Levis. He's got his man. That's Boyd. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. 
If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. Ball resting on the nine. First down and goal. They'll run here. It's Pollard. And he's in. Tony Pollard. Touchdown, Tennessee. Well, you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. The veteran Nick Folk here for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Titans will take a 7-0 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This taken at the five. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Dolphins offense ready to take over once again. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. start the drive it's a chat he'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage maybe he gets a yard out of that one it's second down here's Huntley now he'll run. He is dangerous when a play breaks down. A pickup of 18. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Hill brought in motion. A run out of the gun with a chance. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's second and six. In motion, it's Waddle. Here's a chain. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. The integrity of the defense, Mike, is based on every defender holding their gap. That's exactly what we saw out of this defensive tackle. Not only did he hold his gap, he's able to shed his block and make the play. What can they do here on third down and seven? On play action, he'll... Oh, the blitz gets there quickly, and down he goes. With the right personnel, the safety position is like the ultimate chess piece, right? You can put him in center field to play pass. You can bring him up and make him a pseudo linebacker. 
but you also can bring them on pressure, Mike, and that's what this guy does so well. The timing and the speed, he got there in a hurry. Here's the punter now, as he's on to punt for Miami. The Titans offense, ready to get back at it. They lead it here early 7-0, as they start with a first and 10. On the ground, it's Spears to start the drop. Now, a loose football. But this is taken in by a teammate. So even though they avoid the turnover, this is still a play that they're going to coach hard off of. They're going to bring guys into the meeting room next week and say, hey, guys, we're not always going to be so fortunate. The ball is not always going to bounce our way. Anybody who handles the ball from the center to the quarterback to any of the ball carriers, the most important aspect of team offense is protecting the ball at all costs. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes, so give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. Off the play fake, it's Levis. The left side into the hands of Hopkins. And he puts his head down, and he picks up the first down. Really nice job here by the quarterback, not only getting outside the pocket, buying more time for his receivers, but then finding a man open who's able to pick up enough to move the chains. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Levis. Open man downfield, it's Boyd. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Nice grab there by Boyd, and I think it was really smart of the Titans and how they pursued this, Mike. I mean, think, they put him together with his former offensive coordinator, Brian Callahan, all in hopes that the two of them can help Will Levis take that next step in his development. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. The whole idea of that short pass is designed to get the ball into the hands of the receiver in space and let him do the rest after the catch. But the key word there, Mike, is get the ball into the hands of the receiver. He doesn't secure the catch, so there is no run after. On second down, here's Pollard. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Pollard with a nice first down run. And the Memphis native returns to Tennessee after an impressive five-year stint with the Cowboys. He's coming off two consecutive 1,000-yard seasons. And he should be a huge part of the solution and part of filling the hole left by Derrick Henry. They'll go back to Pollard on first down. And the defense was ready for him this time. Did not have the same room to run. That one's no game. Coming off that edge, Mike, you have to quickly determine, is this a pass or is it a run? And once he realized it was a run, he's able to shed his blocker, make the play, no game. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. On second down, Levis. That's going to be incomplete. And it'll leave just enough time for one final play in this opening quarter. Anytime you see a receiver at this level miss a ball that easy, it's just concentration. They just take it for granted. All of a sudden, they're thinking about what their next move is or what they're going to do after the catch. And instead of just focusing on first things first, secure the catch, put the ball away, 
then become a runner. A throw right side taken in by Boyd. Now we get whistles. Time has run out. The first quarter has come to an end. So on fourth down, the veteran Nick Folk will try it for Tennessee. This a 44-yard attempt. Folk's kick is good. And the Titans will extend to a 10-0 lead. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? So the lead is now 10-0 as this kicks away. Here's Berrios on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The home team's offense make their way out to take over once more. They'll do so with first and ten. In motion, it's Waddle. Huntley. He finds the open man, Braxton Berrios. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. And he'll take this to about the 46-yard line. Quandre Diggs there on the tackle. Hill brought in motion. Now, faking the give. Nowhere to go. He is taken down. This offense just continues to struggle to find any sort of rhythm. And now part of it is self-inflicted wounds. But the vast majority of their struggles has just been their inability to pass protect. You can't expect your quarterback to settle into the game and have any confidence operating out of the pocket when the second he hits his back foot, the play's over. Now Huntley. Off balance throw. It's complete. It'll gain some yardage here, but that is not nearly enough for the first down. So it's going to bring up fourth down. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath we've seen a few times. And they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes, and once you do, you can try to go for the big one. The Titans offense ready to get back at it. This will begin at their own 13-yard line, so work to do starting with this first and 10. Out of the shotgun, Levis. 
And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. And he's going to be very close to a first down. That's a good run there. Maybe just a couple of feet short. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in him. They'll try and run for the first down with Pollard. It'll be a pickup of 10. First down for Tennessee. We've seen third down really turn into a pass-happy down throughout the league, and I think this is an example of the play caller kind of using that to his advantage. Keep the defense off guard, keeps the ball on the ground, extend this possession. On first down, Levis. His pass caught. It's Chigokonkwo. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Second and a yard. Levis with a give to Spears. And he'll get past the marker. So he's got a first down on that gain of five. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass. And I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. They'll stay on the ground with Spears. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Running back looked a little unsure of himself on that carry there, Mike. You have to think back to that fumble earlier in the game. How much is that still weighing on his mind? He didn't really seem to attack that hole like we've seen in the past. He gets stopped for no gain. On play action, here's Levis. Now, a deep ball here for Ridley. That one broken up. It's incomplete. All over him, down the field. It'll set up third down. I think that's one of those cases where he just tried to put a little bit too much on it and fit it into that window, Mike, and sails it high. Give his guy a chance to bring that one down. Put that ball on his chest and help him secure that catch. At this level, when you're that open, that ball has to be completed. And on third down, that ball incomplete. The most important stat, Mike, to determine wins and losses in the NFL is clearly turnover differential, your ability to protect the ball and on defense, take the ball away. And for any offense, that's even more critical when you have the ball on your side of the field. The Dolphins offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. To throw is Huntley. That one brought in by Berrios. And he's going to be marked down up around the 33. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect. And the rush gets there. He'll be tracked down. This is the epitome of team defense. Not only are you able to rush the passer and put relentless pressure on him play after play, but the coverage on the back end is so tight, there's just nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. You see him just continue to hold the ball, that extra second in the pocket, and with the way these guys are pass rushing, that's all the time they need. 
After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Huntley now to the left side in the hands of Hill. Well, that helps. It's going to be a much more manageable third down, getting some good yardage on that second down play. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on them early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. They go zone read here on third and short. And he will convert. Good job there. Drive continues at the 48. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback, let him find some daylight, and go get that first down himself. A couple of first downs, and the football's out to the 48-yard line as they come up first and 10. Now, H.A. And he'll fight forward for a couple of yards, but a flag is down, and the linemen are already walking back. Hill brought in motion. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he finds Tyreek. Throwing, Huntley. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. What can they do here? This is third and forever. Hill brought in motion. Back to throw. Huntley. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. And the big guys up front in the offensive line just continue to not be on the same page. And we've seen it time and time again here today. This pass rush remains one step ahead of them, and it's the quarterback who continues to pay the price. Here's their punter now, as he'll come on to punt this one away. And good coverage by the punt team. They stop him before he can get any return cranked up. The Titans offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They've got the 10-0 advantage here early. And we'll see if they can add to it. Beginning on this drive, first and 10. <laughs> to throw is Levis. Open man is Hopkins. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. They run it straight ahead with Pollard. And he's across the 40, close to a first down, as the tackle's made at the 41-yard line. They'll look to pick this up, third and a yard. They'll go play action with Levis. 
Open man, right side. He's got it. This is a great example of why it's so critical that on defense, everybody does their job. You got a free hit blitzer coming right at the quarterback, but because they don't contain him in the pocket, they allow him to escape, and it doesn't allow that blitz to get home. From the gun, here's Spears. And a nice game there on first down. He takes it forward for eight yards. Two minutes to go here till halftime. We'll come back to Miami after this. We'll come to the line now on second and two. Here's Levis. He's going to get it to Okonkwo. And he'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver... And they're going to get to him and take him down, take him back to the other side of midfield. That's the rookie out of Penn State, Chop Robinson, in for the sack. When you look at Robinson, what you see is a guy who really has a lot of upside remaining, Mike. I don't even think he has completely maximized his physical skills. I mean, he's got great explosiveness. He's raw, sudden movements. He creates a lot of chaos when given one-on-ones. Led Penn State last year with forced fumbles. He's a guy that could get even stronger at the point of attack. And I think Miami has themselves a guy with a lot of upside and a lot of room to grow. Throwing on second down, Levis to the left side in the hands of Boyd. Well, they'll get some of the sack yardage back, but it's still going to leave them with third down. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. He'll try to run for it. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Titans can attack on three more, extending the lead here late in the first half. Just one second remaining in this first half, and they will kick it away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out, so they'll take over at the 30-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Here's Huntley. And that is incomplete. One final chance does not work out. Time has expired. The first half has come to an end. Okay, Michael, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. It was a strong first half for running back Tony Pollard. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. These two teams leaving the tunnel, and we'll head out with them. It's time to send it back over to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half.
First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The visitor's offense is going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They built a nice lead for themselves here. They'll try to add to that, beginning with first down. The man in motion is Burks. Levis to throw on first and ten. Catch made there by Burks. Well, let's give the defense a little credit here. You talk about read and reacting quickly. They recognize the screen right out of the jump, and he's able to beat the blocker to the spot and keep him to no gain. They'll try again. It's second and ten. Now Pollard, only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. From the gun, it's Levis. These are the plays that are just crushing for a defense. Here you are, you think you're about to make a big stop, force fourth down, and get the football back. But instead, you let the quarterback get loose, he picks up the first down with his legs, and now you got to defend a fresh set of downs. Levis to throw it here on first down. That's to the left side, caught by Ridley. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. Throwing is Levis. He'll look middle here, caught by Boyd. Here's a second and 12. Levis to throw. The left side into the hands of Hopkins. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. First and 10 now from the 36. Levis. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. If there's any silver lining for this drive, Mike, it's the fact that at least this sack occurred on an early down. So I guess technically they have a chance to claw themselves out of this hole, but that's the third sack of the game. And this defense doesn't show any signs of slowing down. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Out of the shotgun, Levis. That is caught. It is Hopkins. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. Here's Levis to throw. He'll try and get there on the ground. Whoa. Give him 11 on the scramble. And give them a new set of downs. And here's a great example of why the pass rush on third down, that it's critical it gets home. In this case, they're not able to get to the quarterback. 
he has extra time to not only escape the pocket, but to turn into a runner and pick up the first down. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He's usually such a reliable target in the passing game, Mike. We just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that all too often. And when you're one of the go-to guys on your team, I know the hit's coming, but guess what? It feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. This is a great example of why teams want to stay out of what they call passing downs, where a defense doesn't have to honor the run. In this case, they do. And man, the play action pass just works off of that and can really lead to some chunk plays. On third down, here's Pollard. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal coming up as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short. Just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. This has been some kind of march downfield now. Can they pay it off with six? It's first and goal. Levis to throw. To the goal line and in. Alvin Ridley. Touchdown, Titans. Levis has the offense back at the line with a two-point try. Now they'll set up to throw. And he's going to run out of time. They get to him and bring him down. So they decide to put the ball in the air, which I don't mind on this two-point try, but the execution was just a little bit off, and it's not going to work out in their favor this time around. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here's Berrios on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Dolphins' offense about ready to take over once more. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. That one brought in by Darius. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike, and of course that's a given. But it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else. And I think both of those things were on display there as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. In motion is Hill. On the handoff, this is HN. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming, and he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. He'll try again here, second and 10. Hunt 
quickly. Just trying to avoid the rush there. He's hit as he threw in the pass is incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. Looking underneath for HN. And he's going to be taken down short of the marker. And that is going to set up an interesting fourth down decision. Nice job by the defense there, stopping him short on third down. Brings up fourth, but Mike, honestly, I don't think there's much decision to be made. He's got to keep his offense out there. They need to come away with points. Find themselves down multiple scores in this one. They're going to have to maximize these possessions. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. So Sanders back out after making the field goal. He sends this one away. Here comes a return from the five. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. Tony Pollard heading out with the rest of his Tennessee teammates for their next drop. They're going to be looking to possibly push this to a three-score advantage. Work to do on this drop. First and ten. a zone read to start the drive. He's going nowhere. Going to lose yardage on that play. The decision whether to keep the ball or to hand it to the back happens so fast. In this case, the quarterback thinks it was a keep read. The defense was there ready to stop him. Tackle for loss. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. Now Levis. A throw right side taken in by Boyd. Breaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers, everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. Here's third and two. The hands of Ridley complete. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game, all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch, and it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. Now it's Spears. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground. Like, there was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. On play action, here's Levis. Now, a deep ball here for Ridley. I'm not sure if it's this big lead or if it's just this second-half pressure getting to him, but... That's just a careless throw by the quarterback, and don't let this lead fool you. Throws like that can change this game in an instant, and this defense knows they gave him one, and they let him off the hook. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker. Seemed to me, Mike, before that ball was even snapped, the quarterback had already made up his mind. I'm throwing the ball to the tight end no matter what the look is, and he's counting on the big body picking up the rest after the catch, and 
even though he's able to secure the ball. Nice job by the defense keeping him short of the sticks. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The Dolphins offense ready to get back to work. They need to start making some inroads here. Down two scores as they begin this drive with first down. In motion, it's Waddle. Now Huntley. To the left side, in the hands of Hill. They'll come up here on second down and five. They'll send him over to the left. They'll go jet sweep and do it with Hill. And this defense having nothing of that. They get him down behind the line. Got to get this to the 25. Here's third down. In motion, it's Waddle. Off play action. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. This has been a masterful game plan defensively. I mean, not only have they found their mismatches and been able to exploit them, it's led to seven sacks so far. I mean, even when the offense seems to make an adjustment, Mike, the defense just still seems to be one step ahead of them. And now the punting unit will come up as he'll hit this from just outside of his own goal line. Fair catch is called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. The visitors' offense and quarterback Will Levis ready for their next possession. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. First and ten. The drive starts. It's a carry by Pollard. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. They'll work now on second and four. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. On second down, left. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Just seems like another case of predetermining where the quarterback is going to go with the ball. He had a lot of good route options on that last concept. I think if he just remains a little bit more patient, read the play out, let it unfold, will lead to some easier and better completions. He'll look deep, left sideline. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. It's been a bit of a pedestrian game for this quarterback and ultimately with his passing game here today, Mike. And I know they all would have loved to connect on that deep throw. I think that stat sheet would have looked a whole lot different, but just a little off in their execution and leads to an incompletion. Too much leg there. That one's into the end zone for a touchback. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. They'll start on the ground. It's a chance. And he's going to be brought down here on what will turn out to be the final play of the third quarter. So we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports.
Here's a second and six. Hill brought in motion. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Open man downfield, Tyreek Hill. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. They'll run. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. Here's Huntley. Into the hands of Darius. And he has got this one all the way down to the two-yard line. It's not a coincidence, Mike, that the best offenses in the NFL are all excellent at yards after the catch. It's a combination of a few things. A highly accurate quarterback, and the ability of the scheme to get open players in open space. Once you do that, the rest is up to them. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. Now, this looks like a design run. He'll get this forward. No signal. They're going to mark him down at the one. Down in the red zone, design quarterback runs are a handful for defenses to account for. But in this case, give them credit. Not a lot of room to maneuver here for the quarterback, and they keep it to a short game. They'll run with eight chan This offense is finding out the hard way, Mike. There is just not a lot of room to operate against this defense down near the goal line. Two plays at their disposal, but they'd love to get it right here on third and goal. Man in motion is Berrios. They'll run with a chance. And he will score. Game on. Devon Achan. Touchdown, Dolphins. Greg, very big touchdown there. Makes it a 10-point game and now a chance to tighten this down to a one possession game. Yeah, absolutely, Mike. You have to go for two here. You got to get this thing down to eight. But this offense now has given themselves at least a chance to make a run here down the stretch in the fourth quarter. Now a big play here. Dolphins will go for two. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. They'll run here. And this time they stop him short of the goal line. Touchdown a moment ago. No two-point conversion to add on as they come up empty. After the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. This returnable from the four. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And that's well done by the kicking team. He's only able to make it past the 15-yard line. The visitors offense and Tyler Boyd heading back onto the field. Their lead is 10. They go back to work trying to add to it. It begins with first down.
The man in motion is Burks. Levis to throw on first and ten. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. They just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time. But I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. A second down throw here for Levis. Whoa! And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. This would go a long way to sealing this one. Third and a yard. Connecting with his tight end, Okonkwo. And he's going to pick up the first down. He knew where that marker was and made sure he got beyond it. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground. And they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. And before the snap, we have a whistle. And this could very well be a false start. Here's Spears. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Second and 11. From the gun, it's Levis. Looking middle, and he's got Ridley. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. Throwing is Levis. Looking for room out on the edge. Not going to find any. As a matter of fact, I think they tracked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense, and it's fourth down. Anytime it's third and short, you better account for the running back out of the backfield. And that's exactly what they do here. Great job by the defense taking him down for a loss. Brings up fourth down. The Titans sending out their punch as they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth-quarter lead. Out comes Miami and the offense to get started on their next drive. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. In motion is Hill. Throwing Huntley. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. They just have to be better on first down. They've got to find a way to continue to operate ahead of the sticks. And I don't mind throwing it on first down. That is the best down in football to attempt to pass. But if they don't protect the passer, none of it's going to matter. Man in motion is Berrios. Sending it deep for Waddle. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. They're lucky to have avoided this mistake here, Mike. In the fourth quarter with possessions running out, that would have been a critical back-breaking play in this game. And they're going to have second life now after that defender drops the ball. And 
Let's see if they can take advantage of it. Throwing now on third and long. And that is incomplete. Every so often, Mike, you can see these offenses, and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable. And as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders, they're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws, but to put the ball in harm's way. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. Out comes the Tennessee offense. They get set to see what they can do. They'll begin with first and ten. They'll give it to Pollard to start this drive. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They'll run once more. And it's Pollard again. And this is going to be a Titans first down as he gets this up past the 40-yard line. Here's Levis. Throw over the middle, brought in by Hopkins. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing, and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route. And then next thing you know, he gets to his break point. He breaks in, and that ball's put right on the money for a big pickup. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. You know at this point, the defense has to sell out and stop the run. You know exactly what the offense is trying to get accomplished by keeping the ball on the ground. But now the question remains, are they willing to take some risk here and put the ball in the air on third down? Or do they play it safe and keep running the clock by keeping the ball on the ground? And that'll move the sticks. That's a first down. Down to the 45-yard line. They'll stay on the ground with Spears. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. Little play action with Levis. Off he goes. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game. Chance to get him closer to that finish line. It is third and two. Out of the shotgun, Levis. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Timing and trust, critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Titans add on to their lead. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points.
Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Berrios on the return. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The home team's offense back onto the field for their next possession. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and 10. Huntley now. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You got to see someone separate. Work with your quarterback. Go into scramble second reaction mode, and let's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. Going right sideline and complete. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. That's over the middle, caught by Tyree. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Well, there's not a lot to this route. Man coverage and you got a drag route. Give them a little something off the line and go. Win with speed. Good, accurate ball on the front shoulder pad. Allows him to pick up the rest after the catch and leads to a big game. In motion, it's Waddle. He's going to air this one out. Looking for Hill. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. I can't exactly put my finger on it, but it just seems like this entire game, like this passing game and this quarterback specifically, they've just been off. And whether it's missing these big shots downfield like he did there or just simple underneath layups, there's just something about him today that doesn't look right. And I think it's a big part of the reason they find themselves trailing here in the fourth quarter. And he's going to be out of bounds as the clock will stop. It would have stopped anyway as we have hit the two-minute warning. Now, a big third down. They'll drop to throw. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. Sending it deep for Waddle. And he's into the end zone. Jalen Waddle, touchdown Miami. Well, that was step one. The offense did their job, get this thing back within one possession. So they're still alive. But now they've got to find a way to get a little bit of luck and find a way to get the ball back, and it's not going to be easy. Jason Sanders on for the point after. The kick is good, and the Dolphins are back within six. After the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. Now return coming from the seven. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Titans offense ready to take over possession of the football. 
they work with a six-point advantage as they start this drive on first and ten. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. They bring their tight end right. On first and ten, here's Levis. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Seemed to me from up here, Mike, that he really locked in on that guy. He told himself, I'm going to give my guy a chance to go compete for this ball. But anytime he enters such a crowded area, it usually means if he works through his progression, there's an easier throw somewhere on the field. Instead, he tries to fit it in and just wasn't able to quite make the completion. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He decides to go with this safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. Running here, it's Pollard. Now the Dolphins going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll discuss what's to come as fourth down's looming. The Titans punting unit comes out to the field. Here's Berrios on the return. And he'll get a few yards on this return. Up past the 15-yard line. The Dolphins offense ready to take over once more. The deficit, six points. So a touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drive. First and ten. To throw is Huntley. Sending it deep for Waddle. And this one is pulled in. What a grab. And he's going to take this one all the way. 83 yards. Touchdown, Miami. Well, there's still some time remaining, but what a sequence of events here, Mike. I mean, late in the game, they get the touchdown that they needed to tie it. And now they can take the lead with the extra point. So, not home yet. Still a critical extra point here to break the top. A critical extra point is up and good. They have taken a one-point lead here in the late stages of this one. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. A safe kick taken at the five. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Titans offense ready to get back at it. The deficit is won as they'll search now for that go-ahead score. They'll come up for first and ten. Levis. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's second.
him down. Levis to throw. Open man downfield. It's Boyd. The Titans will use the first of their timeouts. The stoppage comes with just over a minute to play in this one. Plenty of time, plus two timeouts at their disposal. It's first and ten. Here's Levis. A throw on the move is caught. Here's second and six. Now Levis. He's going to get it to Okonkwo. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. run with Pollard and he'll get back maybe to the line of scourge but probably going to be a loss of a yard here when you can get this level of run support out of your secondary Mike man what an advantage for any defense this defensive back clearly reads run gets off his block and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards on second down Levis to the left side, caught by Ridley. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. So now the veteran, Nick Folk, with an important kick. This to win the game. This kick is good. And that very likely will be a game winner. Well, there's no more pressure-filled spot for a kicker than that one right here, Mike. I mean, it's very simple. You make it, you win. You miss it, you lose. And what's he do? He comes through to not only give his team the lead, but most likely the victory. Just one second, all that remains in the football game as the kick is away. And this one is fielded in the end zone, will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. This is first and 10. Here we go. One final play. Looking for Berrios downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. The defense holds here in the final minute. And they're going to get out of here with a victory. So this one, a win for the visiting Titans. This one went all the way down to the wire. A late field goal with zeros on the clock seals the deal. As they come from behind, they may feel like they stole this one. They get the victory on the game's final play. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL 
on EA Sports. Good night from South Florida.